on a tidbit whether or not I have one in my hand. Okay. Okay. So if I did that with her thriller, with that tidbit in my hand, yeah. yeah, she would do the same thing. Right? So that's really easy to get away from. You just pretend. So tidbit, good girl. Get it? So no tidbit. Wink, and I click and reward the dog, yeah? yeah? So you do that as an exercise. Within that though, what you're looking for is like I was saying with um, yeah. Anne's dog, yeah. you're asking the dog to be straight underneath the hand. So even if I move, my dog should orientate itself and put itself in that position right. underneath the hand. So you just do that from how you bring the dog in like that. Good girl. Good girl, yeah? So she has to be underneath the hand and be straight. Just look at there. Girl, and she has to be focused and the idea in the stand. Good girl, get it, okay? Yeah. So that's one exercise. The other one is which you've done, which is a hand target or hand touch, in which the dog will. Well, I want the dog to have constant contact, and I personally like constant pressure, hard pressure, because um, it's much clearer for, my, for me to feel. So if I say to her, hand, when she will go on that, and even if I try and distract her away, hand, okay. I try and distract her, the tip is there, she get it, okay, she understands, don't yeah. come off that. Yeah. So if I then substitute, if I put that here, hand, okay, she'll move on that, like so. Yeah. yeah, and she will stay on there until I give her permission, which is the, what the, we were saying about the click. Yeah. Now, those are two separate exercises or elements of heel work. The, sep the other one, which is what you were saying about bringing the dog in, is where I ask the dog to come into position and find here what position statically. So I'm not actually moving anywhere. And the dog can good girl, can hold that position. So if I then orientate or twist myself around, yeah, the dog will reflect with good girl, any direction that I go in. So obviously she needs to do that with a tidbit and without. So frill, 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 So right there, she comes in. There, la la la. She understands that and I can transfer. Get it? That was crappy. Frill, let's just do that again. But she understands that eh, me throwing the tip bit because I've done it here. Yeah. Good girl. Get it? Yeah? yeah. So she understands that same picture. So um, once you've got your dog understanding, for the heel work to come into position, yeah, with my left leg forward or my right leg, then it's a case of just piecing the two together. Good girl. Good. So there. Good. Okay. So what you, the bit that you need to fix with your dog to get contact, Frilla, come here, is the dog moving behind. Okay, and approaching your left leg, yeah? And that in itself is broken several, broken down into several little bits. So the first one would be the dog, what I call orientating itself. So all I'm looking for, okay, is the dog, wait a minute, wait a second, is doing this, yeah? So the dog yeah. will come behind me and she'll be straight in preparation for approaching my left leg. So look at me, good girl, ready? Okay, good, yes, yeah, so she'll do that. Once I've got the dog, I can run these all in parallel. Another exercise I would teach is the dog um, would be behind me, so I'd throw a tip behind, and she would have to approach my left leg. Good girl, okay? I'll do it in touch actually. Bop, bop, bop. And good. And what I'm looking for with is shoulder contact. Right. Right? So the two exercises, one is the orientation, two is the approach. Then I want to teach the dog where she should be when my right leg is forward. So how I train that, is I create a little block so the dog can't physically sit. I get the dog behind me, it doesn't really matter how, and I walk the dog over that foot. So the dog is just literally standing next to my left leg, like so. Yeah. We'll One foot targets as well, we've done some of that. Yeah, foot targets are a separate bit. Right. So foot target would be where I, I did that. Good, yeah, see how she's looking for that yeah. foot? Yeah. Too much, girl. Good, yes, get it, yeah? But I don't just teach a foot target. Foot target is a, is a um, um, settle is a um, a part of my dog understanding heel position. So heel position would be okay. Throw heel work there. So she understands. Throw. Good girl to do that. Right now that isn't just about a foot target. It's about the dog understanding where her head position is. So if I try to tease her out of position or push her off or try and pull her out of position, throw. good girl. She should automatically come back and default there. Yeah. Yeah. So if I try and prize her off, wink. She understands, don't come off the out of that position. Yeah. Yeah? Right. <laughs> so 
you have to do a little bit of dog training. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little.